Please, just leave me alone. Why didn't you answer my text? I'm at work. I texted you like 15 times. Leave me alone. The judge has issued a temporary order of protection. I didn't do anything. Respondent, which is you, shall refrain from disorderly conduct, harassment, harassment in second degree. You have anything sharp in your pockets that I need to know about? No. Aggravated harassment in the second degree, sexual misconduct, stalking, stalking in the third degree, stalking in the fourth degree, criminal mischief. I got arrested today. And you're gonna need an attorney, just so you know. Can you come to the courts tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Because that's when I'm getting arraigned. Do you gain criminal contempt too? Hey, step up. Counsel, your appearance for the record, please. George Ricos. Ricos of Monasterio, 6780, Exeter, New York, New York. Mr. Dugan, you're charged with criminal contempt in the second degree for violating an order of protection. Counselor, do you wish to be heard? Your Honor, at this time, we would like to waive a public reading of the charges and enter a plea of not guilty. Requesting a conference date? Yes, Your Honor. People on the matter of bail? I rely on the courts, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Dugan, I'm going to release you on your own recognizance today. You score a 10, not really much of a flight risk. However, you come back before me again with an allegation of violating that order of protection and your bail status could change significantly. Next date, please. June 17th at DB1. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I called you so many times last night, it's not even funny. You can't answer? I don't have to. I don't care how many times you've been over it. All right, you need to listen to me for a minute. I'm trying to fix things with you. So you're really just gonna let it end like that? There's no other way. There's always another way. We can try harder. What's this? I told you to take everything out of your pockets. You're under arrest for violating an order of protection. I need you to come with me. People, you wish to continue questioning the witness? Yes, we do, Your Honor. Kelly, can you tell us what happened on January 23rd? I was working, like normal. Mike came in, and I know he's not supposed to be there. He started talking to me. I asked him to leave. He wouldn't leave, so I ended up calling the police. And can you tell us how that made you feel when he came to your work? Very uncomfortable. I don't want to see him. That's it, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Ricos, questions? Yes, Your Honor. Ma'am, isn't it true you made up the allegations because Mike has a new girlfriend? No, it's not. This is not the first time you've made allegations against my client. In fact, you refused to come back to court in 2012. Isn't that true? This is true, but that's because he told me he would stop. Will the defendant please rise? Mr. Dugan, you've been found guilty of criminal contempt in the second degree, and I've had the opportunity to review your pre-sentence report. All I can say is that I am appalled. 2012, conviction, criminal contempt too. Later, 2012, conviction, criminal contempt too. 2013, conviction, criminal contempt too. 2014, conviction, 
criminal contempt too. Mr. Dugan, you are what I call a frequent flyer in this building. Therefore, based on everything that's before me, I'm going to sentence you to one year in the Suffolk County Jail. Put your hand behind your back. Oh, this is fucking bullshit. Are you kidding me right now? Watch your language, Mr. Dugan. This is, still, this is still my courtroom. This is ridiculous. You're sending me for a year? One year, Suffolk County Jail. You hear that? Do you hear that? This is fucking bullshit, man. Hell no. Hell no.